I'm very happy to speak with you about where we are at with Juanio and the COVID-19 virus, as well as the new building that we've been working at throughout this time. First of all, I want to thank the many, many donors that gave to us and really stepped up to our COVID-19 response. So many people wrote checks, it's $5, $10, all the way up to $10,000, that were able to help us buy very, very necessary protective equipment that our individuals needed to continue our services. I'm happy to say we've been COVID-free now for uh, over two months and that we really hope that this is the end of this situation here at Juanio, but if it isn't, we do have plans in place. And I'm happy to say that everyone is really getting back to their routines in the new normal way. So thank you for your support during that very difficult time. Well, what we had to do during that time is we had to stop the capital campaign because of course, every dollar that came into us needed to go to the COVID-19 response. So today I'm here to say we're reintroducing the capital campaign. We're at 6.9 million. We need 3.1 million to complete our goal, which is absolutely necessary to build the Juanio of tomorrow. Let me take you for a walk and show you where we're at at this point. Come on. So we're just putting the finishing touches on the building and this will be our vestibule where people will be welcomed with video screens. And those video screens are going to say what's going on for the day, say what's going on with Juanio, but also we're going to have videos of your children and the children and many people who are served here at Juanio to give people a real flavor of who we are. And what we'll be doing is Dorothy Gillespie, the very well-known artist, is going to put a starburst display here for when we open so that we're going to be open with lots of color and lots of celebration so I hope you join me. This room is going to be our seniors room and this is for the many people that we take care of in our residences and many who are in other residences that are really in their retirement days. And that's what they want to do. They want to relax. They want to enjoy the outdoors. We're planning on putting gardens outside so that they can have horticulture going during the seasons. We have the audio video here, but this is a special kind of place for them where they're going to be able to sit at grand tables to discuss, to do activities, and to enjoy the natural world as they look around them. And now what I would like to do is take you into our room that's been especially designed for the medically frail. And now I'd like to show you our medically frail room. And this is where we take care of individuals who are very, very frail. They have physical disabilities as well as they have chronic medical problems. They need a tremendous amount of help. But what they really enjoy is sensory activity. So we are going to be having a lot of color in here. This is going to be a video panel with all types of interaction and interactive uh, abilities. We're going to have movement in here. We have nursing in here. And we're also going to also here grow herbs because you have the sense of smell. So you have hearing with the sound, you have smell with the herbs, you have the visual with the colors. And that's really what motivates people to, to really excel. And now I would like to take you to the Paul Pepperato family suite in his honor. And this is the Paul Pepperato family suite. This is a place where families can come and they can meet with professional staff. Sometimes we have very good news for families and sometimes we have very difficult news for families. So now we are going to have a beautiful suite. You see the fireplace and this is going to be a living room area. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to, we have the video here and this is an area where people will talk about planned giving. They will talk about trusts, how to help their child when they are no longer here. So this is a room for some very vibrant conversations and some very difficult conversations. It is Joania's honor to be able to have the Paul Pepperato family suite. And now I'm going to hand this over to Joan Maurer, who is our program director of early intervention. And she'll show you a little bit about what we're doing down there. 
Hi, I'm Joan Maurer. I'm the program director of the Early Intervention Program. And we are so happy to be moving into a beautiful new suite. Um, this area here is going to be where we greet our new children and have parent meetings to discuss their child's needs. This area over here, which is brightly lit, has, is going to be our sensory motor room where the children come to play, move, do tactile sensory activities. Down the hall, we have two classrooms. And in each classroom, there will be, at any time, eight children with a teacher and two aides. We also have a very large occupational therapy, physical therapy room where the children will be able to move. We're gonna have stairs, we're gonna have trampolines, we're gonna have ball pits, and all kinds of obstacle courses so that they can learn how to move. So today I just gave you a brief tour of some of the specialty areas and I'd like you to consider making a donation to help us with our capital campaign. Juanio has always been there for our community. We've always said yes. We're asking our community to say yes to us.